time sa data. We have really real dinner. Welcome to video assisted instruction database administration series. Our topic for today is about lecture 6, week 3, which states the continuation of the expressions in our lecture 5 in week 3. And we're going to continue that. Uh, the two others, which is considered to be the relational and logical operation or expression in computer. Now uh, let's proceed. So right now we're finished with the rest of the expression, the three types of expression. Now we can move to relational expression. Now what is a relational? In Oxford Dictionary, relational ex is existing or considered in relation to the number of bells. In long man, so we have man. In near and dictionary, so we have year. Came from the Latin uh, relation, relates, prepare, and repel. So relation in near and dictionary is having a function shift to of indicating a relation of syntax. So we are talking about syntax and syntax is a certain language of computers. Now uh, we have equal sign or the exactly equal, not equal, exclamation mark uh, with equal sign. The equal sign or the exactly equal is uh, two equal sign, greater than number three, greater than or equal, less than, less than or equal. So we have in the relation expression we have six uh, operation needs to be performed. Now what is equal? So in Oxford Dictionary, equal is the same in size, quantity, value, etc. In Longman Dictionary, equal is the same in size, number, amount, value, etc. as something else. In Miriam Dictionary, equal came from the letter equal is Grace, dead or level. Uh, Latin alis, as out. Equal is the same measure, quantity, amount, or number as another or other. An example of uh, equal or exactly equal 10 exactly equal to 12, 3 exactly equal to 2 exactly equal to 6, 9 exactly equal to 4, and 8 exactly equal to B. And this is unbearable by or false. For example, 10 is exactly equal to 12, that is false. T is exactly equal to B, exactly equal to C. So this is unbearable by true and false. It depends upon the value of B and C. Now 19 is exactly equal to 4, this is false, and A is exactly equal to B. So this is unbearable by true or false also. Now what is not equal? In Oxford Dictionary, there's, there's na, no meaning and no mana the same as um, and in the number is one and here we have here the not equal uh, example 10 is not equal to 12 this is unbearable by 2 uh, 3 is not equal to B not equal to C true or false 19 is not equal to 4 this is true and A is not equal to B true or false what is greater than in Oxford Dictionary there is no meaning, long man, no meaning, and in medium, there is no meaning. Why the reason of this is that there, they don't have a meaning because it goes to the popular dictionary rather than to an English dictionary. Because it is states that relational is considered to be a syntax in the language of a computer. Now example is 10 greater than 12, 3 is greater than greater than 90 is greater than 4, and 8 is greater than B. Now, uh, 10 is greater than 12 is false, 3 is greater than B and greater than C is true or false, 19 is greater than 4 is true, and A is greater than B is true or false. Now what is greater than or equal? So in Oxford Dictionary, there's none, in long man none, and in medium, there should be none also. 10 is greater than or equal to 12, as an example, and this is considered to be false. 3 is greater than or equal to B, greater than or equal to C. Unbearable by true or false. 19 is greater than or equal to 4. Yeah, this is considered to be true. And A is greater than or equal to B. This is unbearable by true or false. 
Next case, less than. Uh, what is less than? In Oxford Dictionary, none. In Longman, none. And in Medium Dictionary, there is also none. And uh, an example of that we have here is 10 is less than equal to 12, which is true. Uh, 3 is less than equal to 0, less than equal to 0, which is unvariable to true or false. 90 is less than equal to 4. So this is false, and 3 is three, uh, less than equal to B. This is variable to true or false also. Now, uh, as a review, so equal sign considered to be the most common can be used in computer programming or data data. Not equal is common, greater than is frequent, uh, greater than or equal is rare, less than is very rare, and less than or equal is rare. Now we are finished now with the relational expression. Now let's go now to logical expression. Now what is logical? In Oxford Dictionary, there is none. In Loma, there is none also. And in Miriam Dictionary, there is none also. And we have here the three uh, kinds of logical expression. We have the use of and, or, and not, which is usable, very usable in SQL programming. But uh, in SQL, uh, in, in XBase, we are using this uh, sign, okay, or symbol. But in SQL, we are using the word and or and not, okay? So, and sometimes we use this also the sign. Now, what is and? In Oxford, nah. in Longman, nah. and in Miriam, you, you don't have also the meaning. And here is the example of n, 10 and 12, the 3 and b and c, 19 and 4 and a and p. Okay, so again, this is variable by true or false, the same as the logical, the relational expression. Now, what is or? In Oxford, none. In Longman, none. And in the dictionary, there is also none. Now, uh, an example of that is 10, 5, double 5, 12, 3, double 5, B, double 5, C, 19, double 5, 4, and A, double 5, B. Okay, and the uh, OR can be considered as many two rather than false. Next, what is NOT? NOT in Oxford, none, in Longman, none, and in Medium Dictionary, none. Now, here is an example of NOT. 10, not, not 12, 3, not B, not C, 19, not 4, and A, not B. So, uh, 10, not 12 is true. 3, not, can be unparable to the false. 19, not 4 is true. And A, not B is unparable to the false. Now, we're already finished with the three types of expression we have. The first one is additive expression, which is most commonly used in the expression. The next one is a relational expression, which is considered to be a comparison, which is common, commonly used. And the last one is the logical expression, which is very rare in terms of using an expression in computing. Congratulations, we successfully finished our lecture 6.